Hello friends, and today I want to take a look at the different ways we can manually set up lip sync in our projects. And in previous weeks I've looked at using Papagayo and Rhubarb, along with a GUI version of Rhubarb that I've called Riot, to help us add lip sync to our scenes. But sometimes you might just want to do it all in open tunes. For instance, if the speaking part is so small that it makes no sense to invoke other software, or if you just would rather do it all yourself. And by lip sync in this scenario, I'm referring to selecting from the 10 Preston Blair mouth shapes to make up what looks like consecutive speech, and not necessarily fully hand drawing your characters. Although this could still be a useful first step in breaking down your speech before you do. And I'm using the Preston Blair mouth shapes that I drew last week, and the test audio file from the same video. So there's two parts to manual lip syncing that I want to cover, and that's listening to the sound, and then selecting the appropriate mouth shape. So first, listening to the sound. You can listen to the whole audio track of course, by just clicking play, testing, testing, or by clicking on the speaker icon in the header column of the audio file, testing, testing, and click it again to pause the audio. But while adding lip sync, you don't want to play the whole track all the way through every time. So I've got four methods to show you that you might find useful for listening to a small portion of the audio. And this is so you can work through the track one phrase at a time, which could be one word or a few words. So the first really obvious technique is to simply use the play button. But instead of listening to the whole audio, we'll make use of the play markers, which is this little triangle to the left on the X sheet and the triangle on the top of the timeline. So you can drag them round to choose where to start playing from, and where to end playing, or you can right click on the frame numbers and choose to set the start or stop markers here. So I'll set the start marker here to bring it into view, and I'll drag it around that section there, and then hit play. Testing, testing. And you can repeatedly play the selection as you listen to it without having to click or reset anything on the X sheet. So this has the advantage that you can do it without concentrating on where you're clicking. Just press the keyboard shortcut or click the play button and you'll get a feel for the phrase being spoken. And next is a feature specifically for the audio track and that's this little bar down the side of the track. So to use it, you just drag along a few frames and when you release, it plays those frames. Testing, testing, but one problem is it doesn't remember where you last clicked, so you need to reselect them each time, which makes it a little hard to select the same few frames each time and get a consistent feel for the speech. But it is useful for quickly listening to parts of the track just to find the specific words you're after. And next, I'd like to cover two ways to scrub through your soundtrack. First, you can do this on the X sheet or the timeline by simply dragging over the frame number. Testing, testing. And this also shows any animation you've played so far. Again, this is handy, but you can't easily scrub between two specific frames. You have to be careful as you scrub to recognize where you are. And if the phrase is bigger than you can see in the X sheet on screen, it can be tricky to scrub outside of the screen area. One, two, three. As you get to the edge of the screen, the X sheet auto scrolls at a fast pace. But once it's on screen again, One, two, three. you can scrub and play it perfectly fine. Finally, you can use the scrub bar, which is this bar below the viewer area. And the benefit of this is that you can scrub on any set of frames, not just the ones visible in the X sheet. And the X sheet will scroll at the pace that you set. So you can scrub through larger areas of your scene which is good for viewing the whole scene as well as for lip syncing. So click this drag bar and just drag it along the line. Testing, testing, one, two, three. But also if you use your mouse and hover the pointer over the scrub bar, you can use the mouse wheel to scrub through the frames. Testing, 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 testing. And personally, I find the tactile nature of this very satisfying 
but you can only scroll through a few frames at a time. So it can be useful for small sections. So there's a few ways to listen to your speech and find the places where you want to add the mouth shapes, but how do you add them? Well, I've got three suggestions that I use that you might find useful. But for all of them, unfortunately, you need to learn to recognise the face shape because each drawing can only be known on the X sheet by its number. You can't rename them with a name. However, while setting up lip sync, it might be useful to write the mouth shape on the drawing so you can better assign them. So simply choose the brush tool and then write the name of the shape next to the face. So for the first of these three techniques, let's start with a simple way first, and that's to use the level strip. And if you can't see it on screen, you can add it from the Windows menu, level strip just here. So you just scrub through your audio using whichever technique suits you. And when you work out where you need a mouth shape, just drag it from the level strip to the X sheet or timeline, and then extend its exposure up to the point of the next mouth shape. And just keep adding them one shape at a time. So first, let's delete these extra shapes and then put the rest shape in frame one. So let's have a listen to the first word. Testing. Testing. So the word is testing. So the first drawing I'll use is the ETC drawing. So click on it in the level strip and then click and drag it to the frame where you want it. Testing. And then extend it using this drag handle to as long as it needs to be. And then just keep adding the next drawings. So the second method is to simply drag out a mouth shape to cover the phrase or even longer. Testing. And then when you find the place for the next mouth shape, use the drawing replacement options. And you can find them in the cells menu under drawing substitution. And it's the forwards and backwards substitution that you want. But using the Q and W keys is the best way to access them. So that's what I'll be doing. So you can simply click on a frame and then press Q or W to scroll through the drawings one by one. You can press Q to go backwards in the list, W to go forwards, and when you get to the end of the list, it scrolls around to the beginning. So I want drawing number two here, so I'll press W, 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 and that's changed as the one frame. But if you know you want to change a few frames, you can highlight them and then press the W key. And it changes all the frames at once. So the final method for choosing a drawing is a bit of a quirky one, but if it works for you, then maybe it's a good one to try. And basically, it's using a feature of the skeleton tool to choose the right drawing. And this is useful for more than just lip sync. Anytime you've got a number of drawings to select from, give this a try. So what you do is extend one of your drawings through to the last frame of your animation. So I'll click on the last drawing and drag the handle down to frame 61 there. And then change to the skeleton tool, which is here on the left hand side. And on the options toolbar, change the mode to the animate mode. And straight away, you'll see it shows the name of the level and the current drawer number in the middle of the viewer. And when you hover your pointer near the name, you'll see these arrows appear above and below. And if you click on them, you can change the drawing one drawing at a time. Or you can click and drag to scroll through all of them at whatever pace suits you. And then just stop on the drawing you want. And you'll notice in the X sheet, it's now showing that drawing. And unfortunately, you can only do this one drawing at a time. You can't change a selection of drawings by highlighting them first. But it could be a useful tool for you to try. <laughs> So I'll just finish the rest of this audio file. So that's this phrase complete. So if I click play. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And you can see the final outcome. So there we go. A number of ways to listen to your audio and to select the most appropriate mouth shape. So this is the last of the three tutorials about lip syncing. The first one showing you how to use Papagayo to help set up your mouth shapes. 
then last week using Rhubarb and Riot to automatically set up your mouth shapes. And today, looking at manually setting them up. And I've got links to the last two videos in the description below. But I'll be back next week with the next section of my future arm project. So do subscribe to not miss that. And I'll see you then. And that's a guarantee. Thank you.